Come inside, inside. Good boy. Yeah, that'll keep you busy while I film. That should keep the puppy distracted for a little bit of time. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new to our channel, we are High Season, a social media agency that helps business owners, entrepreneurs, and marketers step their social media game up and break the algorithm. Today, we are gonna talk about Instagram engagement. Oh, and there's Craig, who's going to join me shortly. Say hey hello. Uh, we're gonna talk about Instagram engagement, specifically why your engagement is lower, and it's not just you. Engagement is down for many people, but not for everybody. So we're gonna talk about why your engagement might be decreasing, where others might be increasing, and what you can do to get yourself leveled up. Let's get started. Hey guys, just jumping in here with Tiff. So the engagement is actually something we're getting a lot of comments about. To yeah. be honest. So I'm glad that we're doing this video now. So there's a number of reasons why engagement is lower on Instagram. First and foremost, there's a lot more competition now. Before Instagram, you know, maybe in the last five years, it kind of like, you know, ran things. Yeah. Uh, you know, Twitter was a bit of competition for a while, and Facebook maybe, but nothing really came close until recently. So now attention has been spread more, and so there's less chance of your content actually hitting people's eyeballs. So it's something that you do need to think about as far as your optimization to make sure that when they are on the app, your content is showing up first and foremost in their feeds. Exactly. And then on that note, when we're talking about optimization, that's also considering another major reason why reach and engagement is decreasing is because certain pieces of content, so certain features are being prioritized over others. It's true. Hello Reels, you know, like, come on, if you're on the app at this point in time, you already see it, your feed is all Reels, right? Like, most likely it's all Reels, Reels is even full screen. Actually, since we last spoke about it, we need to do an updated features video, like an updated yes. Instagram uh, updates video. Sarah just dropped one yesterday. Because, in, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Can't keep up with the gun. Right. You will have noticed if it hasn't hit your account by now, but the actual video off video is dead. It's yeah. only a Reels tab now. So that's how important Reels are. So because Reels are being prioritized over other pieces of content like carousels, like traditional static posts, that's why you're seeing a decrease if you're not using Reels. So you really have to think about ways that you can incorporate Reels into your strategy without using your face or any of these things that might be preventing you from creating them. Yeah, exactly. And also another reason your posts aren't getting a lot of reach is the non-following content. You may have noticed, like sometimes like a significant, like 50, to 80% of my feeds in some of the accounts I'm on are the non-following yes, content. Particularly the newer too. one. We just yeah. started an Instagram account for Barrington for yeah. a pub. <laughs> and his account, you start from the beginning and it's just all these other dog accounts that yeah. we're not following. Yeah. So these non-following things, which are you know an attempt by Instagram to get you just to have more engagement in the feed and you know discover new things. It's helping discovery, but it's not really helping your content get out there as much because it's just less places in the feed for it to go. Exactly why optimization is more key because you might not be showing up in front of your followers like back in the day when every time you posted something, it literally went out to your followers and they saw it. Yeah. Now you need to rely more on discovery opportunities to bring people over. Exactly. Now with all that being said, you know, all the reasons why your engagement is decreasing, it doesn't mean this is the end and you need to close down your Instagram account. There are still opportunities to increase your engagement. We've been doing this across our clients and ourselves as well. So we're gonna break down how you can optimize and also create content that improves your opportunity to reach more people and increase your engagement. The first one is obviously use Reels. I don't know how many times. <laughs> We've needed to say it when Instagram themselves say it. Not that they're always correct. They work kind of off with the hashtags. But when they're saying it, yeah. they've essentially changed the app to their own version of TikTok. There's almost no point doing yeah. anything about Reels at the moment. So I know a lot of people get a little nervous, perhaps, about approaching Reels because of this exact problem of the lack of engagement and the lack of reach. So we want to just suggest a few ideas that you can try on your content just to make sure that you know you're doing everything that you can and i'm doing this every single day in the in the comments when people mention it i'm saying things like this so maybe this is a pretty good i love it when we're answering the, con the comments questions in the right you feed us the video ideas just yeah. always remember that so ask questions in the comments because we're going to respond to them either in a full video or in a q a in our upcoming vlogs so, yep exactly right so one of the first easiest ways is a day in the life vlog so a mini vlog could be 10 to 60 seconds doesn't have to be much we do it all the time yeah. for all of our personal projects for our clients super easy all you got to use is the phone and one pro tip that tiffany discovered is that instagram themselves the internal tools the native tools 
They're pretty difficult to use, to be honest. We use They're working TikTok. on it. They're working on it. <laughs> they are, but it hasn't, you know, it's not, it's not quite there. Yeah. Lots of issues. I've spoken to friends who always text me like, it's crashing again, whatever. So we use TikTok for the actual tools because their way that they create the templates is so much better. Yeah. The way, and it's so much easier to just slide everything in and match it to a trending audio, which is the next part of it as well. So you capture the content, match it with the trending audio, edit it in TikTok. And then a big hack to actually download that completed video with the audio without the TikTok watermark which is key it's save tt.cc save tt for tiktok.cc c for cat and that has been brilliant for us so we would post on tiktok first rip the video upload it to instagram and very 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 key before you even upload the video choose that same audio sync it up because instagram the best part is tiktok has a one minute region of the song that you can't go forward or back which is wild annoying. Yeah, it's super annoying. Instagram lets you do the whole thing so you can actually just it's a bit fiddly to be honest but you can get there even close enough is good enough. Yeah. Just find the same song put that through because I actually we had a little workaround that I was going to suggest but I've been caught by that by the copyright strikes recently so don't do any cheeky things just find the song on Instagram or you're good to go. Another great content piece is behind the scenes. People love to see what you're doing and this is so basic, it's so easy. You literally have to set up a tripod even and record a time lapse of you working. Slap an inspirational quote over it or a song or a text just to let people know what you're doing that day and that is enough as an interesting, engaging content piece that allows you to also tell a little bit more about yourself and show a little bit more about what you're doing. Sorry, my puppy's looking at my... Uh... Hey, you good? Hey, bud. Okay, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll reintroduce you to him for those who missed the update vlog. Hey, go check out the last vlog, okay? Oh, that's it. We got a new here. dog, a new house, and a new car, okay? Lots going on Lots here, going all right? On. And, and now we're citizen. back with the And he's a citizen. Let's go. So much going on. Summer was, summer was wild. So, in the end, for example, we can take a video up in our office that will be built soon. <laughs> we're still working we're on working. that. So, up in our office with just, you know, a time lapse of what we're doing over the day and put something interesting over it. People are interested in what the daily life Life of someone who's a business owner or a creator looks like so yeah. easy easy piece of content another one that you'll see on our on our Instagram often is these quotes that are just on a cool moving background and have a trending audio piece on it yeah. one really big tip is go to the creators account every single week they list trending audio so you can check it out there and I think we'll be sharing some trending audio more often on our account as well yeah it's a good idea yeah Another idea that you can do to up your engagement and turn that low reach around is to go back to carousel. So we said earlier, you know, post almost exclusively reels, and this is the almost. Mm -hmm. So carousels we've found on the High Season account specifically, and some of our clients. Yeah, actually. oh my gosh, yeah. They're the next best performing thing to reels. Especially educational ones. Exactly. Yeah. So if you're able to provide, you know, like, five tips to do X, whatever it is in your niche, and then you have the, the pieces, the actual different tiles, then you can just sort of swipe through and people really do enjoy them. One of the key things, it keeps people on there longer. Yeah. When it's educational, when it's a sequential number, like the listicle format that BuzzFeed, you know, have either ruined or- made They created it. And we made it better because it. everybody made it into educational. Well, some people made it educational, not yeah. just like what Game of Thrones character there you go. are you or whatever. But at least yeah. it gets people, people enjoy that short form number. They know how long it's going to be because you're saying five tips to do this. Yeah. And you can swipe through at the end. You can have a CTA tile. I keep telling the tile. What's another word for it? Uh, frame. I say frame. Frame, frame is the word. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. Well, you know, everyone uses different tiles there. Yeah. So on the last one, I always say, you know, go subscribe on YouTube for longer, more in-depth pieces, which is what we do for high season. Or you can say, follow us on this thing or sign up to our newsletter, whatever it might be. Very, very handy and they still really do work. And one key reason why we're calling out carousels as a post type that you should use to increase your engagement is because they show up several times in feeds. So I'm sure potentially you've noticed if you go through your feed, sometimes you'll see a carousel slide on the second slide. And you might be like, what? Why is that coming up on the second slide? It's repeating in your feed. Other content does not do that outside of Instagram Real Estate Autumn Explore page. So that's why the carousels are super key because it's giving your content a second win, like a second opportunity that you don't really get with Instagram. And also when we're thinking about carousels, make sure you're adding CTAs in your caption. So a call to action in your caption or on the carousel to save and share. Save because those key. are two key, key performance indicators for Instagram to let them know that the content is engaging and it needs to be shared with more people or it needs to reach more people. So definitely encourage your audience to save and share your carousels.
So for some really quick, easy carousel ideas that you can do, obviously the first one I mentioned before, educational, so you know, numerical number of tips. So it doesn't even have to be numbered, it just seems to work pretty well. So something educational that's providing value. You could tell a story that progresses as, you, as the user slides through all of the uh, frames. And lastly, maybe before and after, I know, you know we've worked with a bunch of aesthetic businesses that are very heavily leveraged yep. on before and after. And we always encourage them to start with the after because obviously that's the pretty one, but you want to see how, how it looked before we you know worked with it, swipe across, and maybe you can tell the story within that. So those are pretty common. They can apply to almost any niche. Really. Yeah, interior design, fashion, anything like that. Makeup, I think those beauty. are all interesting. People love yeah. to see like the journey of how something became what it was. Yes, exactly yeah. right. And another really key important way to increase your engagement on Instagram is to ask for engagement. Mm -hmm. So not the, guys, please, my engagement's lower. I need you to <laughs> please give this a like and share it with your friends. None of that thirsty uh -huh. stuff. We're not doing that. That's not cute. What you're going to be doing is making the audience want to share that. So what you're going to want to do is when you are creating these posts, similar to what we said before, include a CTA, but give them a reason. So if this resonated with you, share it with a friend comment below if you're a business owner and XYZ happens. So give additional context. So it's more like you're starting that conversation, which is key as opposed to just asking for it because you need something. So it's never about yeah. you. It's supposed to be about the other people. Sometimes when I like, tell me what you think of this, is like when they say drop the diamond emoji, if yeah. you agree. We use that. I love that. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of like small and then sometimes they'll drop the emoji and then they'll want to leave a little comment yeah. as well or you'll follow up a secondary engagement, which is very key. If someone yeah. engages with you always engage back and ask another question when appropriate. Mandatory, mandatory. mandatory you have to reply for to every single every comment thing. that you get. This is like there's no question about it. And we did it actually with one of our clients. We had an influencer and he did like a freestyle for our client. And we said like drop a some emoji we had. I'll find it and I'll send it to Dan so he can put it up here. But we said like drop X emoji in the in the comments and people actually were dropping them in there yeah. too. So that was amazing. Piece. That's like an easy engagement trick, but engagement is engagement. And there was always this myth that you need to have like seven words or 15 words, whatever that I remember was. That. I think it was five, yeah. or five to seven. Instagram never said that, so I don't know where that even came from. It's just random theories. Yeah. Anything with these numbers are usually theory, just theories in yeah. the end, unless it comes from Adam Missouri or Instagram's blog. So yeah, definitely look at ways that you can continue to engage your community in the comments and ask for that engagement in a way that starts conversation. Yes. Now that is all that we have for today because we do have a full video on how to increase your engagement on Instagram in 2022, but we just wanted to update with the most pertinent details uh, based on what we've seen over the last few months that weren't included in that previous video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe below and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any other videos from us. Thank you so much for coming back to watch. We will see you in the next video, Let's guys. give a quick little special thing. Grab the little mat. Where is he? Just, where is he? Oh, right of course. What's he chewing on? Where did you get this tissue? There it is. Oh, he always oh, gets goodness. into the tissues. Literally, what is that? Where did that come from? At least he's not swallowing it. Gosh, so funny. Cheeky puppies. There he is. This he is Barry. Guys, you can see the last one. Barry, yeah, let me zoom in. Yeah, you see that? Or let buddy? me focus. Yes. There's Ooh, Barry. Say hey, boy. Barry. Oh, say, hi. say hey, Barry. Okay, this is our new puppy that has come into our life. You can't even see his eyes right now. Yeah, good. And we get him trimmed next. We're getting him trimmed up. But uh, say hi, Barry. Look, there's your. <laughs> say hi. Okay, anyways, that's all that he's gonna do. Well, we'll see today. you guys in the next video. Peace. Tell him, tell him. <laughs> tell him, bear.